One person can make a difference. You made a difference, Stanley. It's every generation he's affected, and it will continue to affect every generation beyond this. Every Stanley cameo ever. Man, this makes me so sad. It is oh so my sad. God, it you're gonna sad. make me, you're gonna make me cry. It is such fun <sighs> creating characters, writing <sighs> stories, even doing, even doing interviews, even though I can't hear most of what the guy says to me. <laughs> when you do what a life he had. I mean, what a wonderful guy he was. <laughs> Oh, he even did cameos in like the really early stuff. That's crazy. I didn't even know they go back this deep. Excuse me. I'm looking for some guy named Stan Lee. What? That voice is so distinctive. Here, as far as I'm concerned, security would be big. Good morning, Dr. Renslow. Security. This is so sad. What an actual legend. Welcome back. Anytime you saw a Marvel Dr. movie Dr. in theaters, people would cheer the during the Stanley cameos. There was always a moment where everybody would go like, there he is! You know, I guess one person can, can make, make a difference. difference. One person can make a difference. You made a difference, Stanley. Enough said. Enough said. Always giving amazing advice. I really wish I could have met him before he died. Just seems like such an influential person in everyone's lives. Uh, invitation, sir. Um, I should be on that list. Name? Stanley. Yeah, uh, nice try, buddy. <laughs> yeah, uh, nice try, buddy. No, no, really. I'm <laughs> Stanley. Yeah. I like this one's cute. You remember me? I love this part, this one, the hue. The great half. <laughs> you played f***ing half? I didn't know that. The gamma sickness. Milwaukee. I love that this is his thing, too. It's nice, because he was the one that created this whole universe. Just seemed like a good guy. I never heard anything bad about him, and he brought so much joy to all of us. But he had a long life, so bless him. I love, this is one of my favorites. Did it work? <laughs> he's always just so like charismatic in those like 10 seconds he's in. It's so awesome. Oh my gosh, this one is like one of my favorites ever. Oh, what a fantastic scene, I remember this. My kids loved this one because he's so just out of it. That save right there, that was so brilliant. Oh my gosh. Superheroes in New York, cameo break. Yeah, he did do a lot of cameos. I am so fired. <laughs> What an icon, especially if you know his history and like how he hard he worked to get to where he's at to even write for Marvel. It's ridiculous. I didn't even realize he was in Big Hero 6, dude. Son. I didn't even know he was in this movie. What? The, yeah, the hidden part of Big Hero 6. Egg shell shield. Ugh. Hey. I want to cry. He's amazing. Hey. Oh, he was in Agent Carter too? Show I wish would have continued, Agent Carter. So good. Thank you. This is my favorite one. This is definitely the best one. <laughs> Are you Tony's stank? Yes. Are you Tony's stank? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, and then the teaser trailer. Wow. Man, nice even Deadpool. Suit. He was even in the teaser. You have a cameo for the teaser. It's so funny. Wow, nice suit. Zip it, Stanley! <laughs> at that time, I was a Federal Express man. I knew I'd seen him in a lot, and there were always like cameos. I didn't realize that many. It's sad because obviously I'm gonna miss all the cameos and miss seeing him a part of this huge Marvel universe that he created, but also I just love the fact that we can all remember him in this great way. And the fact that he even got to see these characters he made come to screen and he got to you know be a part of it is truly amazing. Every generation he's affected and it will continue to affect every generation beyond this. That was a video compilation of all the famous cameos of Stan Lee, the prolific Marvel Comics figurehead who is responsible for creating many of the classic characters yeah. who did pass away this last week. Yep, 95. It's a long life. That's a full life. So we're going to talk about as many aspects of his career as possible in this episode. But first, Marvel put out a very touching tribute to his life, so we're going to show you that now. Okay, I'm actually really excited because I haven't seen this yet. I'm Stan Lee. We're going to try wow. to present a voice that somebody will listen to. He's so young. Oh, my God. Wow, he wants to look like that. Stan Lee to me is look like Stan Lee all my life, never like this. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only, Mr. Stan Lee. Someone I'll always wish I would have met. 
Stan was doing one of his panels, and they asked me to come up and just say hi to him. I felt a little goofy, but I came up, I, I shook his hand. Aww. I said, hey, they just wanted me to come up here and shake your hand, but, but while I'm up here, I want to say thank you. You saved my life. Because the life Aww. that I have today, there's a direct line to that first comic book to hear. Oh my well, gosh. Stan, like creation. He did crazy. like so much. Stan, as a personality, was able to somehow tap into his own larger than life, self effacing and self aggrandizing at the same time personality. <laughs> He's always been the biggest like, kid, too. Like, like his whole him, career was superheroes, and that's so awesome. With. I think Stan Lee is going to be an icon, what he represents, what he was able to accomplish. He built American mythology. His stories are really what stay with us. He's kind of assumed this Those like legend status, almost like Walt Marvel. Disney. Those characters that he created and what he infused Marvel, the brand with, have always shown through. Like one of my favorite parts about Marvel and why I think I love Marvel so much is just there's the connection with the characters. They have to be believable. What they do has to be what any normal person would do in those situations. That's true, they were superheroes, but they're also still superhuman. Which is why people connect so well to the all the different characters. The concept of diversity and equality, social politics, all these things he had been doing for That's years. right. And now it's at the forefront of everything that we talk about. I just, Man, what a legacy. I used to just talk to the readers, anything that came to my mind, just to make the books not seem like something cold. Yeah, he would literally like read their letters when they came in. It was all about the community, and I think that's just such a beautiful thing. Feel, I wanted them to feel buying a Marvel book was like visiting an old friend. Without that, <laughs> doing that little extra bit is different. what makes like, like Stan Lee Stan Lee. like that. They have a way of delivering messages that, you know, just resonate with those of us who who, who have followed his work and followed the characters he's created. He we can it, we can know, see ourselves that in those characters. That's the We're that's really the point of it. Him. He made it feel intimate and that anybody could belong to it. We're really lucky to have him really define us. And too, if you were into Marvel, you were like a part of that community. Like that was, it was a cool community to be a part of and that was all because of Stan Lee. There will never be a world without Stan Lee. It's impossible. He's the heart of the Marvel Universe. It's a great way to phrase it. Look at that, wow. 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 Amazing. Amazing. Just incredible. I really hope his cameos live on, even if he's gone. Just to prove that he's still, he's still with us. Stan Lee was just like a, a, a figure in pop culture itself, you know, that you just think like, that man lives forever. And unfortunately though our bodies do um, die, I guess the legacy of what we leave behind doesn't. And, uh, and he's left quite a legacy. So Stan Lee was prolific in his time at Marvel Comics, and he either personally created or helped co-create several of the classic characters. So we wanted to show you just a few of them. Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> oh gosh, so many. These are all just like iconic characters. Loki, Spider-Man, Thor, Black Panther. A lot of kids could relate to, and a lot of adults could even relate to. I feel like you've got a character for everybody. Um, and he really like kind of hit that mark. All of those characters look so different from each other. Like not even just like ethnicity diversity, but just diversity and just creativity when it came to their powers and their personalities and their different character arcs. I look at this and this is my childhood. It's why we have, I have what I have. The legacy is gonna last on. I mean, it inspired me as a kid and my kids now are dreaming and they will want to pass that on because these are the memories that we're creating as a family and that's what it, I think that's what it's about. So following his passing, many of his fans were quick to share their favorite memory of Stan or the impact of his characters. So what have the characters meant to you personally? I feel like they've just been like, almost like, a role model of some sorts. The Marvel Universe was always one of the ways my family and I bonded over. We would always go to the movies together to go see whatever new Marvel movie was out at the time. X-Men was always our favorite. I'm a big fan of Spider-Man and like there are characters that he's created that I feel I'm relatable to, you know? That I feel like, hey, I could see myself in this character. Personally, I think they've just given me a really a great sense of community. Going to cons or talking online to like mutuals who love the same thing, it's just, you know, 
given me a new friendship. So for many of the people who've commented on the enormous number of characters that Stan has created, however, many have also pointed to his legacy and the diversity that he brought to his characters. He received a lot of praise for bringing social issues into his work and creating many female superheroes as well as heroes of color, all at a time that it wasn't really being done and not many creators were doing the same thing. So how important would you say that Stan's work was to get us to the place we are today with these kind of issues? I mean, I think it was honestly pivotal. I don't think we would be at where we are with some of these issues because of Stan Lee. It gives you like a role model to look up to. Of course you can look up to someone who's different from you, but it like can, especially for like a younger audience, it helps you like relate to the superheroes and like feel like you're a superhero. I remember X-Men was like a, a term for like minorities and mutants, you know? Like it's totally different, but the way you put it out there was so interesting. It's important to kind of bring these points of conversation into all cultures, and that includes comic book culture. We want to create a more diverse kind of like cast. It speaks volume for who he was and what his vision of the world he wanted to see was. And through his creativity, he brought that. Since it was in comic books, and most comic books are read by kids, I think it helped create your generation now that is the most diverse and diverse accepting generation we've had. I think he was more influential than he ever thought he would be. So what do you think is the continued legacy of Stanley as time goes on? I hope that it continues. We can create this and we can talk about this stuff and we can do it in this artistic way and I hope that, you know, we just continue Stan's legacy. I hope that there is somebody to, to continue on to put the spirit and the love and the affection that he had for his work and his characters and his, his world and that continues. I hope that they can continue to honor what he started and to continue to push the boundaries and represent everyone that they've already represented and beyond. Seeing as how he created so many things, uh, so many characters and such, there's still gonna be movies and more things created in honor of Stan Lee. His legacy will live on for millennia.